Zoning the News for Friday, May 20th, 2016. I'm Avery. And I'm Victoria. Did you know we only have one more Friday at school? How is that possible? Well, next Friday, we don't have school. It was a scheduled snow day makeup. And since we didn't have any snow days, there's no school. We don't have, wait, we do have school the following Friday, but then school ends on Thursday. That makes June 3rd our only other Friday the rest of the school year. Awesome, that means we have a four day weekend. Next week, because Monday, May 30th is Memorial Day, Memorial Day is a federal holiday in the United States for remembering the people who died while serving in the country's armed forces. The holiday is observed every year on the last Monday of May. Memorial Day is not to be confused with Veterans Day. Memorial Day is a day of remembering the men and women who died while serving. Well, Veterans Day celebrates the service of all U.S. military veterans. May 26th is Red Nose Day. I think I've seen ads for, for that on Walgreens. At Walgreens. What is it? It's a day to raise money for children living in poverty. Writer-director Richard Curtis created Red Nose Day in 1988. It was first launched in the United Kingdom and came to the United States in 2015. Red Nose Day is on a mission to lift kids out of poverty using the power of entertainment. If you want to learn about Red Nose Day in school and get, res and get resources to help, go to the website rednosedayinschool.com. May 26th is also the Exonia Showcase. This will take place in the gym at 9 o'clock and students will be sharing their talents with the school. A special highlight of this event will be include winners from the interpretive reading competition that the top five students from each class will perform for a panel of judges on May 23rd, and the top performer in each classroom will be sharing their interpretive reading piece during the Exonia Showcase. Let's see what's the, wait, let's see what the weather will be like this weekend. Here's our forecaster, Josie. On Friday, it will be partly cloudy with a high of 69 and a low of 46. On Saturday, it will be partly cloudy with a high of 73 and a low of 49. On Sunday, it will be partly cloudy with a high of 77 and a low of 51. Have a great weekend! Wow, we're going to have a pretty nice weekend. Since, since next week is a four-day week, we won't have the Exonia news next week. Our next and last newscast will be on Friday, June 3rd. Many classes will be on field trips the first week in June. On June 1st, the first graders are heading to Fireman's Park. On June 2nd, the fourth graders are heading to Nature Hill for the Medieval Fair. And on June 3rd, the second graders are heading to the Milwaukee County Zoo. And the 5K students will perform their version of the Little Red Hen. And then they'll have a family picnic. Let's see who this week's Authors of the Week are with Caitlin. This week's picture book author is Eric Carl. He is the author of The Very Busy Spider and Do You Want to Be My Friend. Eric Carl is the author of The Very Hungry Caterpillar, too. He has written the books in 62 different languages and sold over 52 million copies. Coco Simons is the author of Cupcake Diaries. She has the series, it is a 12 book series. Remember our PBIS focus this month? To finish like a falcon, let's make sure the rest of the school year is filled with positive behavior and action. I hope a lot of students earn falcon feathers these last few weeks of school. Maybe you'll be one of the students who has their name drawn for a free movie ticket. It's time for our question of the week. This time, Ariana surveyed the 5K students. I asked the kindergartners if they would rather live the life of a dog or live the life of a cat. 29 would rather be a dog dog, and 11 would rather be a cat. 
I think I'd rather be a cat. What about you? I think I'd rather be a dog. We have two more teacher interviews for this week. The first is 10 favorite things, and after that we'll have the five questions interview. We hope you enjoy these interviews. Welcome to 10 Favorite Things. I'm Brent M. and you're viewing Mrs. Turner. Are you ready? I am. What's your favorite movie? Um, anything by Disney. I don't get to watch a lot of movies, so usually I'm with my kids. Okay. What's your favorite book? Animal Vegetable Miracle by Barbara Kingsolver. Okay. What's your favorite superhero? Batman. <laughs> Batman. Batman. What's your favorite vegetable? Steamed artichokes. Lots mm, of I butter. I love those too. Mm -hmm. Butter. Favorite cookie? White chocolate macadamia nut. Well, that sounds really good. What's your favorite place to travel? Um, I would say Puerto Rico. There are mountains and oceans and cool things to explore. Cool. What's your favorite ice cream? All of them. <laughs> Especially crunchy peanut butter in vanilla. Well, that sounds good too. Favorite, what's your favorite city? Cheyenne, Wyoming. It's loaded with cool historical places to explore. Cool. What's your favorite subject to teach? I think math. When I was a kid, I really didn't like math, so um, I like to find ways for kids to do a better job of understanding it or have an easier time with it than I did. Okay. And what's your favorite candy? Chocolate and chocolate and more chocolate and chocolate. <laughs> well, that was five, 10 favorite things. Hope you enjoyed. Bye. for five questions. Are you ready to get started? I'm ready. Do you have any children? Yes, I have two boys. Evan, who will be four next week. He's going to be here for 4K next year. He's very excited. And Owen, who was born in February, so he's a little over three months old. Nice. Do you have any pets? I do. I have a dog, Remy, and she will actually be six next week as well. A yellow Lab. What do you like to do in your free time? I love crafting. Um, I have a special cutter that I use to cut vinyl and paper, and I love to make projects and decorations for Evan's upcoming birthday party, which will be a fishing theme. Right. Where would you like to travel someday? Um, my husband and I would love to go to Alaska someday. Um, what's your favorite thing about teaching? Um, I love teaching the little four-year-olds because they are just so excited about everything. Everything's new to them and they just get so excited about it and you can't help but get excited with them. But I also love watching the kids as they get older and seeing them travel throughout the school and all the big responsibilities they have to take on. That's it for five questions. Bye. Thanks Mara. Next Thursday, May 26th, is the day all school library books need to be returned to the library. If you still have library books checked out, return them to the library next Thursday. It's time for Get Healthy Exonia. This week, Mara is going to share some exercises. The school year is almost over. Our fourth grader is going to be leaving soon. Victoria interview a couple of them to, to see what their favorite part of Exonia school was. The teachers. That is an awesome answer. Uh, my favorite memory of Exonia is probably field day because it's really fun. I say the color run last year. Um, field day, probably. That was awesome. Um, I really like the fun run because we got to get all like a bunch of colors on us. That wraps up our newscast for this week. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to tell your friends and family to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'd love to get your feedback. Leave a like or comment on our YouTube page and we will give you a shout out in next week's newscast. Thanks to Mrs. Cavana, Mrs. Dyson, and Mrs. Wagner for their comments in last week's episode. Oh, as, as always, be safe, be kind, be a learner, and keep, keep everyone in mind.
<laughs> Can I just start over? Because I forgot to say partly cloudy for both of them. Okay, let's see this who, this, this, let's see this, what? Let's see who this week's authors of the week. Here we are with Travis. What is your favorite memory of Exonia News? Exonia News? Wait. <laughs> Wake up in the morning and I tap, I got a flip on the block, cause today I 